The reason is really clear is why I keep saying the whole game is changing. Hey guys, it's your old boy Dragoon, and today we have another unboxing. So, with this unboxing, this was all the thanks by Panley37. I have more to talk about him later on, but right now, in this box, we are going to be making a Cyber Dracil. So, first, let's see what the bay looks like. All right, here they are. This is Cyber Dracil. This is the anime version, and this is the reinforced version. This is all thanks to Hanley37. And speaking of Hanley37, he made something he wants to promote to everyone. Hanley37 made his own Beyblade comic called Bay Fight. And in this comic, is about a young teenage player named Iki Kuakuma that is very determined to be the best player in the entire world. The only problem with Iki is that he's not really skilled. So after battling a few of his friends, he finds himself being called by a, to a mysterious place by a very mysterious woman. Who is this mysterious woman? And how can Iki become a better blader? You're gonna have to read the comment to find out. Guys, you are going to love this comic. All the color, all the detail that's in this comic, you're, you all are going to love it. I'll leave a link in the description below. You are going to be amazed about the art of Panley37. He is very skilled. Go check him out, guys. Seriously. Now, on to Cyber Dracil. There's going to be a few things you need to make your own Cyber Dracil. First, you would need a metal Dracil. I need scissors, glue, and you're going to need a metal file. I'll tell you that in a bit. So, so the main thing you need to make the bay. Well, first, you need you will need a. You need a bit chip and eight balance, or six balance, ten balance. It doesn't really matter. You need a spin gear, a purple one, or any kind of spin gear will do. And you also need the Beyblade, the middle steam Beyblade. This is going to be the reason you need the metal file. So metal file is actually used to wear down the sharp tip right here you will need to uh, get a metal file from your local hardware store uh, this is what it usually looks like I'll probably put another uh, picture up just to show you another example but you're gonna have to wear down this tip you gotta make it to kind of like a semi flat so for example I already have another uh, Beyblades like this so and uh, here is an example I uh, worn it down you can see the comparison yeah so all, all I did was get a metal file make sure it was flat and as um, best as I can I grind down the metal tip to make it more flat it's a very easy process. It's only going to take like a few minutes. But after it's uh, flat enough, you don't have to have to get it super flat. You just have to make it into like a, a semi-flat kind of base. Because this is going to be the best way to make a cyber to seal. But before we can do all of that, we have to 
pink, we have to paint the attack ring. So I'm going to uh, uh, start um, painting, and we I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, now that the coating's done, all I have to do now is add in the details. So with the details, you're probably going to need to use a small brush. It's, this is just a broken off brush, but just make sure you have a brush that has a small tip and you can get all the details in very easily. So I'm going to start uh, putting the details on and after that, we're going to put on the stickers. All right, now the paint job is done with all the details on it. All, we, all there's left to do is put stickers on these attack rings. So I'm going to give a complete shout out and a complete thanks to the Bay Handler. He once again helped me out making Beyblade stickers and you should go check him out. So this is the stickers he provided me. Uh, if y'all can take a good look, I would put it on the screen right here to uh, actually show, uh, give give y'all a chance to uh, screenshot it and copy paste it. So I don't know the pixels right off the bat, but I will put it on the screen. I also got the stickers for the Beyblades. So I would put it here it is on the screen and with the pixels. All right, so thank, uh, complete thanks to the Bay Handler. Go to his channel, go subscribe to him. I am very grateful for Pan Lee 37 and the Bay Handler. So make sure you check out Pan Lee 37's um, Instagram and his Patreon, and make sure you go check out the Bay Handler's channel. So with that all with all that said and done, I put stickers on these bad boys. Alright guys, so here's the base I fully stickerized. Now all there's left is to assemble them. All right, guys, so here they are. Here's the fully assembled Cyber Drasils. This is the anime version. And the reinforced version. Yeah. I really enjoy making these two bays. These, it's like, wow, it's a dream come true. I really want to bring this bay from the anime so badly, actually. So I would still have to give my thanks to Pan Lee 37 and the bay handler. Like I said before, go check out their channel. So all they're left to do is do a test spin. All right, so first we're going to be spinning the anime version of Cyber Drasil. All right. Three, two, one, let's. Let's 
Right now, the reinforced version. Hit, hit. <clears throat> They're looking both looking good. So hope you enjoyed this video guys. I mean as you say these Beyblades this Beyblade it has to be my favorite cyber Beyblade. I can't believe I was able to finally get it to have it in real life. Now I can do some battles with these finally. Just it looks just like the anime version, or what you see in the anime. Right here, I'm taking, I'm going to take some screenshots, and you can compare, can compare it. So, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out Pan Lee Thirty Seven and the Bay Handler. And I'll see you next time.